I'm pretty badass with the pack I'm carrying. I've been carrying 40 pounds, 45 pounds. Now we're on our way up around that valley between Mount Boulanger and Fat Bastard. We're gonna go down over a glacier, come back up on the other side, then down a crazy cliff, and then we're gonna find a place to stay for the night. Everything is laid out food wise because I'm going on an eight night trip. So, and to save on plastic, I'm just putting each day's items in uh, one bag. So, typical things for breakfast oatmeal, coffees, um, electrolytes, cup of soup, peanuts for during the day, granola bar, and then. Uh, end the night, end the day with uh, something as basic as a pasta. Uh, this one's different, um, you know, a variety, different flavored oatmeals, different flavored cup of soups. This one's got peanuts instead of trail mix, some candy, uh, rice and some tuna. This one, this day is, you know, uh, same kind of breakfast, different flavored drinks. Uh, the soups are different. Some are tomatoes, some are, are cream of chicken. In this case, I got a candy bar. And then for this one, I'm using uh, an Alpine Air, which can be, you know, divided in half. I don't have to eat it all. So that's a lot of extra food. A little variety on this one, powdered milk and some Cheerios. Um, different kind of coffee, uh, different kind of uh, granola bar, different kind of peanuts, and again, uh, rice and tuna, um, different kind, only one oatmeal, uh, an energy drink, um, what's underneath there, you know, different, different flavored uh, electrolytes, and a pasta, and a, and a ramen noodle, you know, beef jerky, mountain chili, another cereal, uh, another um, Alpine Air, smoked uh, mussels, uh, M&Ms, things like that. So the, 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 the trick is, you know, they're, they're all going to be packed eight days and I grab one in the morning, eat my breakfast, throw a couple of things in my pockets for throughout the day and then finish it off. And, and then what happens is over time you accumulate stuff, you know, you might not eat all the candy or all the peanuts. So then you got them for the next day and the next day. And then by the time I get to my eighth day, I'll probably have a half a day, if not more of supplies. So we're not doing really crazy days. We're doing uh, 20 kilometer days. So it'll be, you know, 2,500 to 3,500 calories but I'm packing about 2,000 plus calories per day. And I'm, I got lots of weight to spare on my own body, so I'm not gonna starve. You know, I'll be a little bit calorie deficient, but as long as I'm getting lots of water and electrolytes, I'll be fine. And um, so yeah, that's what you end up doing on a 10 day trip. You starve yourself a little bit, but um, you'll see when I add this all up, this adds up really quickly. This is a lot of weight. Yeah, bring a couple of... Uh teas and then more powdered milk because the powdered milk is these these side entrees sometimes they only require water but sometimes they require milk so you can uh, you could get away with just water but it's nice and creamy if you have a little bit of powdered milk so let's package it all and see what it weighs okay so i got it set to zero my budget for food is about two pounds a day which is about a thousand grams or just so let's see what we got that's 479 grams, that's only a pound. Twenty-one, 
652. All right, eight days worth of gear. Nine days, so walking stick. The black thing is my thermorest. Uh, a little foam cushion for uh, on the trail. My marmot uh, one person tent. The tent poles, the pegs are inside that bag. Toilet paper. Uh, a very uh, warm sleeping bag, like only rated for 4 degrees Celsius in a stuff sack. Marty Up North bag contains uh, 10 days worth of food. It's 8 of these, plus these 2 more, so each day's food. Some small fleece gloves, some fire starters, a collapsible bottle, water filter, little towel, a bag of batteries, a uh, toiletry kit, my trusted mug, my permit, bear spray, Tokes pot, uh, 750 mils with a fuel canister in there and a stove, some dish soap, an extra fuel canister, folding saw, map of Wilmore, a little pump for inflating mattresses and deflating, a big lighter, GPS, first aid kit, two carabiners, um, that's a repair kit, uh, bag with things like rope and other accessories uh, puffy jacket rain jacket fleece shirt this Dyneema bag has things like a spare t-shirt some socks another pair of pants water shoes the double for camp my toque uh, a folding camp chair the water bottle all of that has to fit in one bag now, even though there's three of us, um, we kind of agree that we still uh, pack as if we're completely independent. Um, in some cases, because there's three, we'll, we'll leave one item behind. So we'll bring two saws instead of three, but we're still bringing three stoves. Uh, everybody's bringing fuel, things like that. Uh, everybody brings a first aid kit and a few items that could collectively be useful to the group. So. Um, in case one of us has to bail or two of us have to bail, the third one is left behind. We have to be able to travel independently. Let's say something happens on day two uh, and, and the party, you know, stays with an injured hiker and then one of us hikes back to get help or something like that. So we're, we're going independent is, is the strategy here. We can do it anyways because uh, we're basically uh, very light with the gear. And even though this is 10 days worth, it, it'll be under 40 pounds, I guarantee it. So I, I just showed you... You know, I'm going on an eight day, eight night trip. So eight nights in the bush, plus I need an extra day just to be safe. So I'm carrying quite a bit of gear. Now, the last trip I did that was kind of this length was when I did the South Desk Loop two years ago with Evan. And when I did the South Desk Loop, I had my Curve 46. Um, and I, I managed to squeeze just about everything in there, but I had a bunch of things hanging outside. So this is 46 liters and it's, it was okay. But I tried loading everything in there now for, you know, it's amazing what those two extra days do and it just wasn't going to fit. I just wasn't happy because um, too many things hanging out. So I finally decided to go and buy myself a larger pack. So if you look at the two packs, this is uh, a Light AF 46 and this is a uh, Hyperlite uh, 54 uh, 55 liters so you know 11 liters more with huge pockets and lots of flexibility now I went and bought this pack this morning at gear trade down in Okotoks and uh, Jesse uh, gave me a little bit of a discount here uh, friend discount on this pack but definitely go down there and see Jesse because he's got amazing gear he's caught on to this whole ultralight thing and now he's bringing in big brand name stuff like this so what we're going to do now, and, and I already knew about these packs. I mean, you know, both, both of these are, fan, you know, uh, Light AF is a great company, and this is a fantastic pack, and I'm not losing this pack. This is great for my shorter trips. But it was time that I got something for my large, longer trips, or the other reason I needed something bigger is I might do a three- or four-day trip, but when I go pack rafting, I need the ability to bring that volume because the pack raft weighs 10 pounds. So... Let's uh, load this. This will be my first time trying to load everything in here. I'm confident it's going to go in because this thing is cavernous. 
Okay, so I'm gonna load this kind of the way I generally load my packs. Um, you know, the last thing I need at the end of every day is is my sleeping bag. Now, and keep in mind, these things are, it's basically a barrel. It's a round barrel, and you want um, the heavier items somewhere around there, heavier, denser items somewhere around there, and then you want stuff that you're going to need frequently during the day near the top, and the rest of the stuff, uh, you know, uh, on the outside pockets. So, I put, right now, I put the... Um, sleeping bag at the bottom and I got room to stuff on the side of the sleeping bag things like that was the emergency kit and then I can probably stick a fuel canister which I will not need so that can go in the bottom perfect now I got this pod which is fantastic it's made by Hyperlite and uh, it's made out of Dyneema and this is stuffed with clothes and uh, extra pants and uh, other items, various items. And that's shaped exactly the profile. I mean, if you can stuff everything in these pods and put it in there, it fits perfectly. Now, um, I'm gonna put the big food bag. And on the food bag, here, if you wanna show Ken, I still got a lot of room in there. The food bag is kind of loose. I think I'm going to put the tent in the bag. And I can evacuate it completely. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. A couple of extra food items. Doesn't take long and it starts to get packed. All right, and then um, toilet paper that I'm not going to need. First aid kit. I'm going to go with the side pockets here. There's two hip pockets. So on one side hip pocket, I'm going to put. Uh, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put the GPS on that side and spare batteries there and I'm gonna put my water filter on this side all right um, now I'm gonna put my water sh uh, this is fire starters I don't ever like putting my fire starters inside the bag because they can stink but the mesh pocket on the outside of this is so fantastic. So the mesh is where, the outside is where I'm going to put um, my water shoes. The mesh is where I'm going to put uh, this little foam pad that I use on the trail whenever I'm sitting down. I'll probably end up putting a carabiner somewhere like this. And this is a tradition of mine where I always hang my cup on the outside. Then I have these extra large side pockets. So one of them will be for sure the tent poles and the bear spray. And the bear spray, I have a carabiner or a lanyard that I attach so I don't lose my bear spray. On the other side, I will put my full water bottle in there. Now, this I'll figure out, but I think I can put, yeah, I can put my um, Thermarest in one of these pockets, and I can, actually I'll put it this way, there's a, there's a great strap, and the straps on the outside are fantastic because they're, I can take this strap and run it to another uh, buckle, so now I got the Thermarest on the side, which leaves. I kind of wish I had my stove in there, but to be honest, I won't use my stove very often. So I'm gonna put my miscellaneous, my toque I end up wearing. I'm gonna put the stove in there for now. Actually, I can put the stove in an outside pocket. 
Guaranteed. What if you lose the stove? No, I'll never lose the stove. I can put the saw in that outside pocket. This is toiletry bag. This pump should have gone somewhere better organized, but I'm doing this quickly. And then the map goes on top, roll of toilet paper, and then So on these ones, you either bring the strap from the side. Where's the strap on this one? You gotta figure out. You gotta figure out the strap. I'm just gonna roll it for now like that, and then put this. Done. Okay, it's not perfect, but for a first time loading this, that's pretty darn good. Actually, what I would have done normally is I would, this goes in my pockets. This is, uh, this is dish soap that can go almost anywhere. And then I gotta figure out a proper way to hook on this uh, Helinox chair only for the first few days because once I start consuming my consumables, um, they, they won't be, the, the volume of the pack decreases. I typically, this is me, I typically leave my rain jacket very accessible. Bingo, let's put this carabiner. I think with two carabiners I can Hang this chair. Uh, actually, let's do it. Let's do it this way. Like this. Maybe you want another carabiner. Eh? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a buckle there. There's lots of opportunities, but I just want to put it on now. Okay, See? stop it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's about. thing looks like that's what you got strapped over top. Oh, I got something twisted. Okay. Stop. Okay. Turn on the scale. See what Big Bad Marty weighs. Two twenty point six. And then after I take the pack off. Oh, give me an air. I'm just 220.6 and one eighty three point four two twenty point six. What was it? Twenty point six minus twenty point six minus hundred and eighty three point four. Thirty seven point two pounds, and that's with water. So water, food. Absolutely everything as is, 37.2 pounds. No whiskey, no smokies, no cheese. <laughs> All right. This is, I'm super happy. So I got it, almost everything inside, a couple of things on the outside, the chair on top. Uh, I just realized it has no load lifters, which is okay. Um, it sits, it sits good, it feels good. Um, 
these smaller packs force you to be very efficient so 55 liters is pretty good you can you know i can do a like i said a 10-day trip like i got coming up or if i was doing a five-day trip but doing a pack raft trip i could use this so uh what a great purchase hyperlight got it from uh jesse at the uh, geartrade.ca and uh on with the adventure I'm leaving uh, tomorrow night, going to Edmonton with Jeff. We're gonna pick up or uh, hook up with JT. We're staying at his place tomorrow night. And then Thursday morning, bright and early, we're gonna drive the four hours to Wilmore, get on the trail. Our first day is only 16 kilometers, but uh, should be a very um, memorable trip. I'm tired of using the word epic, so this one's gonna be memorable. And you'll, you'll have videos of this, because there aren't many trips of Wilmore Wilderness.